Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we will be rating the top 5 best vehicles under 30,000. Basically, in this video, I will be putting all the specs of the vehicle, like engine wise, how much horsepower it makes, and whether it's front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. And after that, I'll give a little review, my personal review on the vehicle. So, hey yeah, guys, make sure and leave a like, subscribe. And leave a comment below what other videos I should try. This is the first time I try in this type of video. So with that all the way, let's get into the video. First vehicle on the list, Honda Civic Saban Jam. This vehicle is also known as the ES in China. So basically this comes with an inline 4 front wheel drive engine. Clocking in 100 and saying what's for what wrong there. Came in manual and automatic. And my review on this car is this make a real good daily vehicle. Like them Honda Civic and them doesn't break for nothing. So yeah, engine wise, you didn't have a problem there at all. And parts and aftermarket parts, real reasonable for these cars too. So yeah, basically it's a good first car. I'll put an example on the screen of one I saw on Facebook for 30,000. And it was actually in clean condition. Normally people as well beat up the Civic and them and batch with them, but this one was actually looking good. Second car on the list is the Nissan Airy Wagon Y11. Now these cars in China, when people buy this is either to walk taxi or do some kind of weird shit with it. Like people as we thought in goat, water, ten bag of cement. A thousand blocks, people as people as we doing some kind of thing with these cars, eh? but they just take them on some more of last. So, so these wagon came with the inline 4 QG15 engine, making around 100 horsepower. All came automatic, none didn't came manual. Front wheel drive, of course, and basically, this is a real good family vehicle. And so long as you swap out the box, the box is in this be real hard. So, so long as you swap out the power wing seat, you're good to go. Next on the list is a CS3 Lancer. Now these came with an inline 4 engine, making around 80 horsepower. Came in automatic and manual. Now these vehicles are very reliable as, as I say with the rest. Fuel efficiency is a big thing on this car. So if you're looking for something that could carry from point A to B safely without burning all the gas on it, and this is the car for you. And in my point of view, this guy is the prettiest car on the list. Like the rest of them weird looking, but this one actually, you know, the curves and everything look real decent on it. Next car on the list is the Corolla E110. These cars on them came with the inline 4, making around 100 horsepower. Also came in manual and automatic, front wheel drive. And Toyota is known for king of suspension. Like some of the smoothest, cheap cars you could get on the road, a straight coming from Toyota. And this Corolla didn't, didn't miss out on this at all. These cars on them just drive real smooth, do give no trouble at all. Very reliable too. Good on gas mileage. And basically this is a bit, this is a bit of one locally down here. I didn't even know that a Corolla like this could look so good. So yeah. This guy's a real good car. Last but not least, my favorite car on the list, the Nissan A33 Sapphire. Now this car came with a V6 engine, hence the reason why I say it's my favorite. So it's the fastest car on the list. The engine is a VQ20. Front wheel drive, making around 150 horsepower. The came in automatic and manual, but the manual is very hard to get. One of my favorite features of this vehicle is the interior. But the interior in this vehicle is very luxury. And is the most luxury vehicle on the list. So you gain luxury, you gain reliability, because I mean it's Nissan. And on top of all that, you again your V6, so your highest speed to go on the way to. Yeah, guys, so I reached the end of this video. The next video I'll be making on the top 5s will be 
best Jeff cars in Trinidad. So yeah, guys. Please leave a comment below or let's think about the video. So yeah, guys, we all turn on.